You feel like there's um, there's been a little torch passing? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I would love I, I, would, I would love to see the scene as vibrant as it was back in the day, but um, you know that's what I'm hoping with Hatchet and these bands opening uh, that there is a scene that that becomes crazy as it was. I mean, there used to be shows at least a couple every month, and we'd be at the Copy Mat Center taping flyers. Yeah, yeah, together putting our little pieces of flyers the together, internet, coloring them black and stuff, and and now it's like. You know, they have it a lot easier now, so they, there should be a scene. I mean, we had to we had to go out and work it. And it's just like, you know, forward it to everybody. How many people had their parents sneak into the coffee machines at work to make flyers for them? Anyone? No. No? I had friends Was I the only it. one? I had friends. Really? Yeah, like, oh, yeah I, I know you did. I, I went into my own place. Yeah. I do it at work. Everybody always yeah. had, like, one parent that worked at an office, you know, would sneak in and be like, Psst. <laughs> no, 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 me, me and Craig would go to like Copy Mat and put down like 20 bucks and, and you know, you had the key Bags. and the coffee machine and we'd cut stuff and, and we'd like just make like 50 copies before we finally got the one flyer. Right. Then we had to make like 3,000 <laughs> after that be like... Old school. Yeah, yeah, it's like... That, there was, was no like Photoshop. A, no, no, there wasn't. It was like... Oh, it was like the Photoshop was, ladies, was a little yeah. yellow hut in the parking lot that, yeah. that developed your film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> That was the first all <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do remember. So we've got we've got the show on Saturday, and then uh, you're planning to write a new album. Are you planning on going back out on tour? Japan, Japan, and yeah. uh, the week Japan, after we leave. Two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's we're the done. week week after our show. We go to two shows in Japan with uh, Testament and Voivod, who are my one of my hero bands. You know, very abstract. I love them, and it'll be interesting to see them without Piggy. Uh, I heard it's really good. I'm sure it is, you know. But yeah, that's that's it. I think that's all we're gonna do for this year, and then we're just gonna right through the holidays and yeah, yeah. We'll we got it. Christmas, Christmas album. We'll have Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be a Hanukkah movie. album too. Yeah. Oh, it could be. It's a forbidden holiday. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah. Forbidden Hanukkah. holiday. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'd vomit. Uh, you know what I always was wondering. Green and red. Forbidden this holiday. is something I never could figure out. Um, what was the difference between forbidden evil and forbidden? Was uh, it just, did you just drop the yeah, we just, from the name? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like a lineup change issue. No, no. Glenn was uh, it was that lineup with Paul and Glenn and right. uh, the three of us and yep. yeah, we were just like when we got with Debbie Abano, um, she may have been the first one to make a suggestion because someone probably told her and we I were just kids. Yeah, and the label. No, said, no, it was before the label. Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I remember how it all went down. But then the label agreed. You know, everybody said, "What do you, what do you want to be for Benilla? You guys got potential to actually be, you know, more than that." Actually, if you guys remember, uh, yeah, I don't know how that Kirk Hammett was telling us to go to be the Forbidden. <laughs> that time, that was right. remember? The forbidden. Yeah, it was like he's like, yeah, you guys should drop it, and he was, he was, it was almost the Forbidden. I don't think we all liked it, but no, it was I don't like, think. Whoa, I ever it, was it was a suggestion. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that blew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I liked that. No, you know, yeah. it was funny. So um, it wasn't a lineup change, but with all the lineup changes, we're we're missing a couple of people. Um, if people don't know, Tim Calvert. Yep. Went on to Nevermore. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Right. And then now he's an airline pilot. Yeah. Yep, he, he's he flying the, the friendly right? skies. He always wanted to, too. He always talked about it on tour. He always talked about it, so he went and did like that. Like even so. way back then? Yep. Yeah, his dad, no, his yeah. dad's a pilot. His dad is a, a Marine. A, a, he, like, flew, I, I'm not sure if it was bombers. I think it was bombers. It might have been little carriers, like smaller transport planes. So Tim's into that. He's into, like, you know, all the uh, aviation and, and, you know, war stuff and like the old combat planes, so I think he was flying a prop at first, but now he's flying a jet for a larger uh, airline. Because that's, I think that's always been, most of the questions I've gotten with all the reunions that keep happening is, well, where's so-and-so, where's so-and-so, where's so-and-so? Um, so why wasn't Tim part of the reunion? Because he was, he's, yeah, he's a pilot. He was in airline yeah. training, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we basically, get the time off. you know, we've let it known. In fact, we're like really excited because Paul's going to play a couple songs, but we've let it known to basically Tim and Paul um, and Steve for a moment that they were welcome to come up and play anytime. And uh, Tim just hasn't been available and the, the offer still stands for him and I know it'll happen eventually. I mean, he played the last one that we did in 2003 for Chuck Billy. The one that I didn't And uh, Steve Jacobs was gonna do Japan or he was gonna also do Europe and uh, he couldn't get out so, but we did get lucky enough to get Mark, so. You know, it, it's, I'll just say that it's, as far as that goes, all three of those guys, including Steve Jacobs, were all integral parts. Because when the band was the band at those moments, it was like, you know, there's a full band. And just like I feel like we are right now with Mark, 
I think that, you know, it weeds itself out. Um, everybody's got their own stuff to do, and, I, you know, if, we're, if we want to be busy and we want to get to work and do what we want to do, then we're doing it. We're not going to wait for anything. There's so no... fill everybody in on Steve, because he's the only one that we've forgotten to kind of go run down on, right? So Steve um, was Steve, in Man Steve, Made God with you. Yeah, Steve uh, went, we, we ended Forbidden and started Man Made God with Matt originally, and, and that went on. It was very experimental. I call it finger painting with feces. It was very weird. But it was cool. It was interesting <laughs> stuff. Wow. It was... Ooh, that's graphic. Yeah, it was, it was, we were a crazy sounding band. But, um, I mean, the flashlight wow, thing used to bug me. <laughs> but it's all part of the Mike Sullivan experiment. But anyway, so that's where, that's our old singer we was. We digress. <laughs> taught me what an artist is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Steve did all that with me, and then we uh, ended up getting signed. Uh, when we got a new singer, we got signed to America and did a record with Rick Rubin that um, we we're very proud of. And we went through that whole rigmarole, and that band just, you know, wasn't going to get off the ground just too much. Sometimes there's too much money spent, kids. It's not good to always spend that much money. I'll just tell you that right now. Think cheap. But anyway, we did that, and then we started Spiral Arms, and then he hurt his shoulder numerous times in between all this. Um, the guys had a lot of shoulder issues, and uh, I feel bad because every time he got oh, up and running. Oh, drum injuries, or is he playing football? Yeah, it was, no, it's not football. Uh, he just was mostly drums in the way how graphic mm -hmm. he was and how he always held his hands over his head. And, and also, he worked out like a f***ing maniac. I bleep that, too. But he was always working out. I think that those two things, he had to learn how to how to trade it off, and he's had surgery, and I guess he's doing much better now. I just he just played at STP the other night. Uh, Eric Peter or Eric Peterson, Eric Kretz brought him out, and uh, <laughs> another Eric, Eric well, Kretz from STP brought too, him out. So you're halfway there. Yeah, he played in Testament yeah. too. <laughs> Who else played with? Was it just Testament? Just Testament and Forbidden, and uh, out here, I think. Yeah, and he came out to join Heathen originally, and that lasted one practice. Am I the only guy who hasn't been in Testament? <laughs> Christ! Yeah. Hey, Chuck! I hey, hey, Chuck, he's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> might get a call, man. Yeah. It's still yeah. working. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> what do I look like? I got dark hair, dude. I, I'm, 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 I'm made for the gig. <laughs> uh, and that's all with love and respect, by the way. Totally. Those are our bros. I love those guys. <laughs> Which is why we're laughing so yeah, we hard. Are. Yeah, we, laugh. <laughs> we kid. We kid because we love. That's right. So Steve, um, still injured or okay no. now? Might set in. I think he's okay. Down the line? I just yeah, down the line he can come in and guest, you know. But uh, I think that, like I said, that as we are now, we are now. You know, this is what we're doing with Mark right now, and I, I we want to see how this unfolds because you know Steve lives in Cincinnati. Like I said, we, you know, we're he not waiting for anybody. He's been living in Cincinnati for a long, long time, and that's ultimately... I was like, wow, I haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, that's the yeah. beginning of it. Yeah, this is we're actually the yeah. forbidden things. Like, it's, it's pretty much we're back to full-time writing, and, and the other guys that want to play will just be able to come up and do cameo experiences, and we're hoping Mark nails it and cameo is the guy is the guy for this after this album. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's up to him now, so. and all of his other bands. So, I'll be waiting for that call. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I told him, if you want to pay all the bills too, you can be in the band. That's right. <laughs> Kidding? You, you guys ought to get down on one knee when you talk yeah, to him like I that. Know. There's a lot of self advertising <laughs> going on here, isn't there? <laughs> We're way too open and honest. So, last and certainly not least, is uh, this is the fact that um, we already touched that Paul um, wasn't back in Forbidden for the reunion, even though it was his idea to begin with, right. because, because he ended up joining Testament. But... Um, Next next Friday, he's going to be there, and he's going to play a couple of songs with you? Yep. That's the rumor. That's the rumor? That's the rumor That's I keep hearing. Rumor, yeah. It's on film now, as soon Paul. As, you have yeah. to. It's, it's <laughs> been promised. As soon, as soon as he shows up down here and we actually play music together, then I think that's when it's going to be a reality. And I think that's going to happen. It, it's going to happen. <laughs>